chicks for free. All right, so my name is Greg, and I get to work with pumpers in the oil field every day. Or at least in Oklahoma, we call them pumpers. In Texas, I've heard you all refer to them as gaugers. And the folks back east, they like to call them well tenders. What do they know about pumping oil and gas? Essentially, a pumper's a mechanic who drives around in a pickup truck, checking all the oil and gas pump jacks we see dotting the landscape of Texas. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, whoa, somebody actually has to go and check all these sites manually? You mean there aren't sensors to take care of that for people? The answer is no. People have been doing this for forever, and they still have been doing it for the better part of 70 years. Well, if you think that's funny, there's a much bigger problem. Getting the oil and gas production information from the oil field back to headquarters. Now, it's obvious that the big boys have some very big wells. And no doubt, these larger operators have always had the capacity to collect this production information via sensors and telemetry. But to the small independent oil man, the digital oil field has always been a mirage that lay just out of reach. Why was this so? Well, ask any oil man, and he'll tell you he's already spread too thin. You see, many of these field data collection systems require a high level of expertise to design and deploy. Now, another reason for his hesitation to buy into the digital oil field was due in part that a large majority of his production portfolio consists of marginally producing wells, better known in the industry as stripper wells. Now, a stripper well is any well that produces less than 15 barrels of oil or 90 MCF of gas in a day. So many of the wells we see off the highways here in Texas Retrofitting them with sensors, the cost simply doesn't justify the means. But it ain't just Texas. It's Oklahoma, Kansas, Louisiana, and New Mexico. It's Illinois, Pennsylvania, Colorado. There are over 30,000 pumpers driving around in pickup trucks, tending to over 700,000 stripper wells in the United States. And these stripper wells constitute for 18% of our total domestic production. Now, in addition to making sure these wells are mechanically sound, Another one of the pumper's responsibilities is to communicate the oil, gas, and water production back to his boss at headquarters. And since the 1940s, these guys have been tracking this stuff via pen and paper and a small book they carried with them, better known in some pumper circles as a grease book. Now, once a week or once a month, these guys would fax or mail this information back to their boss at headquarters. Now, understand, this is a nightmare for the typical oil man. He may own 50, 100, 500 wells, and have no idea the status of any of them until several weeks later after he's compiled all the submitted data. And these wells are pumping day and night. And there's no way to track any of them. Good thing Greasebook is here. So what is Greasebook? Greasebook is a real-time dashboard for the oil and gas operator. We give his pumpers iPads preloaded with the Greasebook app from which they can note and track the current status of any of the production properties. Now. No matter where the oil man's at, in his truck, on vacation, or God forget he has to be at the office, he can sit back and watch the data roll in. And the best part is we have pumpers who are 75 years old on the app, and they love it. Now understand this is a huge step for the independent oil man. Till now, he has always managed his assets reactively, essentially always putting out fires. However, now, now he has the opportunity to manage proactively, spotting issues before they begin. Now, what's interesting is the industry's been talking about the digital oil field for the better part of 20 years, nearly two decades. And what's taken some of these behemoth operators millions of dollars and the better part of a decade to design and deploy can now be replicated by the small independent oil man with better results in less than 20 minutes. Now, with Greasebook, you don't need an IT department, you don't need expensive servers, and you don't need automation at every well site. All you need is an iPad. Believe me, the big boys are sitting up and taking note. Now, the team consists of Barrett Archibald, my dad, who brings with him 30 years of oil and gas software development expertise. He's the president of SSI, one of the industry's leading oil and gas software accounting products, with over 300 clients in 16 states. And then you got me, Greg. Right now, I'm a one-man band. I'm in charge of sales, marketing, operations. Every day, I'm talking to the owners of these companies, engineers, geologists, administration, and pumpers in the field. What you must understand is this is a relationship-driven business. Now, I'm from Oklahoma City, 
And call me old-fashioned, but we believe in developing relationship with the client first, not the investor. You seek investment only once you're proven, and that's how you build a business. So how are we faring? Well, since our hard launch nine months ago, we've onboarded 40 companies from Illinois to Corpus Christi, Texas, landed ourselves a behemoth $25 billion operator, all with near zero churn and 100% referenceable client base. Now, we somehow managed to do all this with just one guy, me. Imagine what we could do with more. Now, that being said, Greasebook has set out to coin the expression, the consumerization of the oil field. Now, I know you think we're kidding, but the editor of EMP Magazine thinks we're onto something. In fact, she was kind enough to lend us the keys to her platform and allowed us to pen her an article entitled Consumerization of the Oil and Gas Enterprise. So as Greasebook continues to grow, so do the demands of our clients. In the longer term, we'd be looking to bring in a vetted CTO, one to help steer direction of the company and vet new developers. We're also looking for companies who believe in this idea of the consumerization of the oil field. We're looking for pilot projects, channel partners, people with proven chops. Now, our data currently flows into OGSYS and SSI, two well-known oil and gas accounting software products. But we'd love to talk to somebody from Inertia, Merrick, P2, and Wolfpack. Understand, Greasebook is succeeding where billion-dollar companies have failed. Greasebook aims to sit shotgun in every pumper's truck in America. I promise this is one ride you won't want to miss. Thank you very much. Hey, Greg. Hey, how we doing? All right, come and have a seat, man. Sure. Hold on. Hi, Reed. How we doing? Oh, 